Anyway, so I am famous for cricket. Uh, one in ten people know me for that these days. But cricket's always been my, my life, really. And uh, my very first game for England, I was only 19, 20. It's in South Africa. Still one of the most memorable games I've ever played. Our captain, Nasser Hussain, he put me on to bowl early on. And he, he really had faith in me, Nasser. He thought I was the business. He really did. He took me off after three overs for Graham Hick, our other spinner. Those of you who don't know cricket, that means nothing. So bear with me. But the thing I remember about this game is the warm, friendly crowd in Bloemfontein, South Africa. Anyone been to Bloemfontein? Had Germany won the war, I think the, the world would have been like Bloemfontein. It's a pretty desperate place. But Nasser Hussain told me beforehand, he went, look, whatever you do, Swan, do not take the crowd on. Do not even try and take the crowd on. They'll murder you. So you've got two choices. Listen to your skipper or take them on. So I was down on the boundary. And I'm just, you know, minding myself, mind, minding my own business. So you all have these barbecues, these briars in South Africa. And halfway through this over, this sausage gets thrown out. An actual a burvus hits me on the back of the neck, falls at my feet. Two choices. Listen to Nasser saying, ignore that sausage, or pick it up, take a big bite and throw it back, which is exactly what I did to rapturous applause from the Bloemfontein crowd. I felt 10 feet tall. I've shown Nasser Hussain, who's boss, I've shown this crowd that I'm one of them. But the one great thing about playing for England, your first test match, you get presented your cap by an England legend, someone who's played the game a lot. You know, normally someone who works for Sky because they're at the game. And there's different ways that they can give you the cap. If it's Nasser Hussain, it's very angry. This is your whole life building out this. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. People are... <laughs> if it's Michael Atherton, it's very cerebral. He talks about E.W. Swanton, W.G. Grace... I had Ian Botham give me my cap. Now, Ian Botham was my absolute boyhood hero. Grew up in the 80s, watching him, the long hair, hanging out with Eric Clapton and you know, Elton John, rock and roll cricketer, absolute genius. And he's a bit different from Nasser and Athers. He walked over, we were in Chennai. Brilliant ground, real spinning wicket. I'm making my debut. And I said, they think, who's going to give me my cap? Who's going to give me my cap? Ian Botham is walking over. I think this is the best day of my life. And I'm ready for the biggest motivational speech I've ever had. And he walked over and went, oh, where's Swanee? Oh, there you are, mate. Um, I've seen the wicket. If you don't get fired.